Not too long ago, we had a patient come into our office that was dealing with some hip pain. We ended up having to send them for an MRI to get a picture of their hip joint. Uh, when we did that though, uh, the radiology report came back because in the um, MRI, they could see a small portion of the low back. And one of the things that they noted on the MRI is that the discs, which are on this model, these clear looking uh, uh, things on the, um, on the uh, spine, uh, they said that those discs were dehydrated, okay? And so we sat down with the patient to talk to them about that. Uh, the patient was pretty confused because they said, well, I drink lots of water. How is that possible that my disc could be dehydrated? What they didn't realize is just because uh, they're drinking lots of water doesn't mean that the water is actually getting into that disc. In fact, there's really no direct blood supply. Uh, into our discs and so the way that we get uh, blood and nutrients and water into the uh, disc is through uh, through the vertebrae and it's through an action called imbibition or moving that spine and so the person uh, had dehydrated discs they were drinking plenty of water they said but they also said well yeah I move lots so if I'm moving lots why would I have dehydrated discs shouldn't that be pumping it into there and they didn't realize that there's a few different reasons why you could have that. One could be that, yeah, maybe you're just not moving enough and that's why you're not getting uh, the disc dehydrated, but that wasn't the case in this person. So then what we saw was that their back was very locked up. And when you have locked up joints, the problem is then those joints aren't moving, even if you're walking, moving lots. And what happens then is you're not getting that, uh, those nutrients in, the water's not getting pumped into the disc. The disc is made up of 90% water. And so it takes a lot to hydrate that disc. And the way that they could tell that on an MRI is he could see that the discs were black. And on one of the types of MRIs where they look at uh, uh, water should look white on the MRI, but on this person's spine, they looked black. So we could tell that that was an unhealthy disc. And unfortunately, a dehydrated disc like that is more prone to injury that might tear that disc or herniate the disc. So really important that they get that taken care of. And so not only were they dealing with this hip issue, is their spine wasn't moving properly. So when we examined their spine, uh, we could really feel that the joints and spine were locked up. So then getting them to move better is gonna help that when they're walking, drinking lots of water to get that disc dehydrated and hopefully prevent that disc from deteriorating and eventually tearing or herniating. And so that's a, a big reason why people will go to the chiropractor is they'll go in because they have back pain, but a lot of times you can't feel that. And so this is a big reason why people People choose to go to the chiropractor when they don't have pain because they want to make sure that the joints of the spine are moving properly. So this is one of the things that we as chiropractors can do. We can detect these things early so that it doesn't become a problem in the future. And this is a good reason why we encourage our patients to come in on a regular basis because you don't know what you can't feel. You don't usually feel that until you get to the point where that disc is so bad that it herniates and then it becomes a much bigger problem and it's a lot more pain and a lot more to fix that problem. So it's easier to just get it taken care of before it becomes a problem. So if you're drinking lots of water, moving your body, that's excellent. That's a good way to uh, make sure that you're staying healthy, a good way to keep the uh, joints in your body healthy. But if you have a locked up joint, you may not know that. And again, highly recommend getting in getting uh, checked and getting adjusted. Hopefully you uh, found this information helpful and uh, hopefully you're having a great day. God bless.